your scoring getting in the post, Alan, and shooting uh, three tonight? You know, I was. Uh, I don't know if I have the full stats, no. Um, I haven't even looked at the stats, to be honest. I just know that we were on the left side. Um, I was, I was, I was pleased with how Ryan Allen, as a senior, you know, we've been we've been talking a lot to him about trying to figure out where we can max out his abilities. And yeah, I like the way he was concentrating and really trying to make something happen on both ends. And we got a steal there. We haven't seen a breakaway steal in Ryan for in a long time, and just the way he was attacking the rim, I thought it was um, it was pretty good. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, coach. <laughs> what turnover is that right there? How many do we have? Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't want that one. <laughs> They're hostile turnovers, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, defensive intensity seemed consistent from start to finish. It was. Um, the start of the game, to, to have them down, I think the two three-pointers that they made in the first half were all things that normally we're better at. Normally, we don't have our hands down and let a guy stare us down for three. And then we, we were really trying to switch on Hayden Humes because of his, his shooting ability, and we got caught. The one time we did get caught, he made it, so we had to take that. Is this the kind of game where you almost wish halftime wouldn't come? I mean, you're in <laughs> such a role, and you know that's not going to keep up after a break. Well, I, was, I, was, uh, I thought the end of the first half was something we could have been better at. So I think we had a few turnovers down the stretch and didn't score any points, but you could still sense we had the momentum. And we were just trying to take that momentum into the second half. And UIC came out and got inside. I think we missed a couple free throws there. But I like how we responded. I think the play that brought us back was Ryan Allen with a three-point play. So um, we, we, did, we did the right things to, to keep UIC away. Um, obviously, as a coach, you, we wish we would play the near-perfect game, but UIC, they're, they're a feisty group, and if you look at their box scores, they played a lot of teams tough to the stretch. The last uh, week or two weeks, is this about as good as you guys have shot the three since you've been here? It's, um, it's, it's been pretty nice. Uh, hopefully, we can take that to Indiana with us and make some up across the, across the line. Speaking of that, you'll take on uh, Butler. They won tonight and get a chance to end their run. They've been to the dance two years in a row and <laughs> gone awfully deep. It's, Nice motivation, huh? Yeah, they have. I, I don't know if that's the motivation. I think the motivation is to try to go out and play the best that we can play. And we know we're going to be playing out against the team that they seem to thrive in tournament situations. And tonight was an indication of how uh, they, they step it up. A right State team that's very stingy defensively. And Butler put points up. So um, it's nothing other than we want to be better tonight. And we're going to have to be better tonight uh, against Butler than we were tonight. Going in to play Butler with the momentum you had tonight, how important is that heading down to Valparaiso? Well, I, I think when guys are feeling good, that's always important. When guys are like playing together and, and enjoying themselves, that's always a, it's a, it's a plus. Um, and that's kind of how we're, we're headed down to Indiana. So we'll take that plus and see what it can do for us. Coach, how do you like playing here? Again, obviously you've, you've had a few non-conference games here, some exhibition yeah. games. Yeah. A game that really means something. Did you, did you really like enjoy the well, experience? Well, I, I, I enjoy the, the fans. I enjoy the energy in the place. When you see two stands filled with, with students and you look and you see all of our supporters that have made the transition from down at the cell to, to leave those nice comfy accommodations <laughs> down there to come here on campus and they're all here cheering. That's that, that's fun. Can you just talk about um, the transition you made from last year offensively to this year? I mean, could, what do you really credit? Obviously, hard work and a lot of other things, but what's the biggest thing that's helped you really be a much bigger offensive threat now? Uh, just playing my role is really nothing different. Uh, last year, my role was to play defense. This year, coach asked me to be aggressive sometimes, and that's just what I'm doing. It's nothing different than last year. Mm -hmm. Last year, I, mean, I think last year I could have done the same thing, but mm -hmm. I, my role was to play defense, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Come in and bring energy. This, this year is a little different. You asked me to be a little aggressive on offensive game, and I think I'm doing it. Do you feel the same kind of momentum that you guys had last year going into the same situation that you do this year? Uh, I, honestly, this year is completely different from last year. It's just a completely different feel. I mean, I think everybody's pretty focused this, this go around, and we know what's we know what's at stake, and we we learned from last year. So I think this year's a, a little different. Mm -hmm. Ryan, you uh, I think you have four three point plays. You could add a fifth and missed a free throw, but um, was that part of the game plan to get inside you posting up down there and see what you could do? Uh, how did it just come? Yeah, I, yeah, a lot of well, you actually got a, a, a lot of smaller guards. So I mean, coaches said we just need to utilize. They need to max me out every time we're on the floor. 
So, and I just think we did that. What's the feel like you are, you went on a 34-4 run after they four, scored the first two points of the game? When everything went absolutely right for you guys, what does that feel like when you're out on the court? Can you describe it? Uh, it's just thought you just want to keep it going. I mean, because we, I mean, as of late, we've been, we've been, you know, I mean, falling, falling off during the end of the game. We just want to keep it up and just keep it going. So, are you guys going to have to play better in the second half uh, than you did in the second half against Butler? Most definitely. We, uh, I mean, we beat them here, and, and we was, we was up ten. I forgot what, how much time when we played them there, and we kind of just one of those games we wish we could have, we could have back. So, we are definitely gonna focus in in the second half. Well, from the whole forty minutes, this go around. The way you guys are shooting the ball, you obviously have a lot of confidence. Is this as good as you guys have played this year, even when you were six and one and had to had to lead in the conference? Uh, I think this is completely different from we, when we were six and one. I think the effort is, is just on a whole nother level because we kind of understand what's at stake. We just know every shot matter, every shot matter, every possession matters. So, out of the gate in the first half, you were the one that really got the team started tonight. You guys started off a little slow in the second half, then you were the one that picked it up. How good does it feel to have that kind of performance in front of the home crowd in your last game on campus? Uh, it feels good, but. Uh, it could be anybody any night, so we just, everybody's staying ready and it could be anybody, so. Uh, you, when you, had, you guys had to steal, you went in for the dunk. You had enough time to think about what you wanted to do. Did you think, am I going to reverse? Am I going to one hand, two hand? I didn't do what I wanted to do. I just was like, you know what, let me just get a dunk in. Everybody <laughs> telling me I need the dunk over one. I was like, you know, let me just make it. Just make a dunk. So it felt good. So. You made it. <laughs> there at the beginning of the game, just everything clicking for you. Has it, has it just been how you guys been playing lately? Is it playing at the clutch even? What, what did you really uh, credit that to? I think it's just energy. I mean, our energy right now is great. And we've been trying, we've been carrying it over mm -hmm. from the game games to practice and it's just something that keeps carrying over as long as you keep it up. Mm -hmm. How exciting is this for you? Obviously, you know, everybody knows the story of you. You had to wait last year. You're finally now in the Horizon League tournament. You watched last year. How excited are you now to go down to Valpo? I mean, I'm excited. I mean, this is what I set out for last year. Um, I'm really excited, especially we get a chance to, uh, to get a few days here for rest and then come out here and play Butler. So, mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you guys know everything there is to know about Butler. That second half that you guys had tonight you're gonna have to play a good solid 40 minutes against them you say oh yeah I mean it's gonna be a battle from beginning to end and we got to come out in the second half with even more energy and focus in on the game plan <clears throat> what did you learn last year by watching and I, you know these teams will have a little bit of a break and not, not Butler but the other two teams hopefully you get past them did you, what did you really learn from last year's tournament run um I mean I, from getting this, watching on the sides, it's kind of I, I kind of see what like when coaches are pointing out stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of something like when you that, like when you're out there. Sometimes you don't realize what they're mm -hmm. saying, but like last year, I got to see it from a coach perspective, mm -hmm. and it's just really helped me listen to the coaches even better mm -hmm. and grab onto that and even go harder because I mean we got to go hard every game. Mm -hmm. So in the first half, you were three for three from behind the arc. Is that a good sign that all cylinders are clicking when uh, when you're 100% from three? I mean, yeah, uh, once I make that first one, I'm feeling pretty confident. And like I said before, like if I get my feet set, I mean, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident in my shot, so yeah. Well, you and Tony Meyer are obviously different types of players. Uh, defensively, it, it seemed like UIC really wanted to pound it in low, and it was really giving them problems when you two would switch up on, on the guys you were defending. Really gave them fits. Was that part of the game plan, or is that just how it worked out? Uh, I mean, we were switching on ball screens, but sometimes we were just switching up because uh, because one person would get caught or get caught behind or whatever, and we would just be communicate. But yeah, when we were chesting them up and stuff, they were struggling a little bit, and it gets a little bit frustrating down there for them. Mm -hmm. What would you guys credit from? Obviously, you get through that little mid-season slump, and now you got to turn it back on again. Was there anything you guys talked about that really kind of flipped the script? Any like message or anything that you guys really paid more attention to? I think we even focus in a little bit more on becoming a family, not not like we didn't do before, but mm -hmm. we really focus on the energy and coming together even more because mm -hmm. we're, we, we're all we got. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's something we really got a lot better at. Mm -hmm. Not that we weren't good at it before, but we, we just we came together. Just kind of as the season went along for the yep. most part. Now you're facing Butler. They've been to the Final Four two years in a row. How good would that feel to go out knocking them out of the NCAA tournament? I mean, it'd be great. I mean, every every game with Butler, no matter, no matter what year, uh, what players you're going to be battling. So, I mean, it's going to be a great feeling.